you know, this is not res 2. Uh, this is a, the child of Eden. <laughs> The basic concept is the same, mm. like uh, you know, the sounds getting music mm. and uh, visual effects, colors coming back, and uh, visuals getting rich mm. feeling. So you know, ten years ago when I made the res, that was so tough, mm. you know, to explain what is this game mm. and uh, what is the, the 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 feeling of the music and the game experience combining, you know, kind of feeling, what is this? And uh, no music game genre, uh, just only a few games like, uh, you know, like a parappa, rappa, or mm -hmm. some dance game. And, uh, you know, timing is always changing. So, I'm feeling it's getting easy to make this kind of game. And uh, that means the, the game industry and the game itself changing to something different. I want to make uh, you know, the new experience using new technology like a HD 5.1 and uh, also like uh, you know, Kinect. The Kinect experience, it's like, uh, you know, I'm doing, you know, really, you know, if you play with Kinect, there's somebody here, mm. maybe you feel, oh, who I am. Right. So, to, you know, go deep inside the game, we decided, oh, okay, let's make a first person shooter. Mm. And the res, uh, that was the third person shooter very simple lines and uh, very minimal uh, graphics. Mm. The Child of Eden, uh, this is the first person. We are trying to uh, make a, a much more rich, rich world. We can use the visual, uh, you know, movi moving images uh, like as textures. Mm. So everything is moving with music. This is the same theme, you know, from uh, res and uh, we did the same thing in Luminous and uh, E4 so you know everything is quantizing mm -hmm. with music right mm. so this is like a you know a life theme yeah I think so <laughs> yeah First, um, I wrote it's like a long, long poem, yeah. right, maybe 40 pages. Mm. I want to express, I want to make this kind of game experience and we share and with artists. And the artist starts the concept art like that. So the music inspiration is very, very strong and very, very important mm. for me. You know, the Genki Rockets and uh, Child of Eden is you know, linking together. The Lumi, she, she's uh, the front act of Genki Rockets. And uh, she's singing and she's the main actor in kind of a symbol in Child of Eden. <laughs> write lyrics and uh, picking the music tracks so I took a long time mm -hmm. so for Genki Rockets I wrote the lyrics to you know I had done many many collaboration with like a Res, Luminous and Special Five so let's do you know let's make the whole tracks by myself I mean, you know, myself I mean, you know, the Genki Rockets. So this is kind of a challenge to me. 
but uh, it's, I think that this is the best timing to me. We finish the whole, uh, you know, tracks for the game, for the stage, before we make the game. Uh, you know, I concrete the image with the game designers and the artists, mm. and uh, we try many, many times uh, with remixes. And uh, so, for example, these archives, nine minutes, ten minutes. So, okay, this area, this area, this area, and the music is changing like this. It's like I'm making the sculpture. Right. Yeah. So, this shape, this, this shape. Right. I got a big influence from uh, Powers of Ten mm -hmm. by Charles Ray Eames. The concept is wonderful, you know, like a galaxy and a uh, very small cell. Why same shape like that? Right. And um, why DNA is you know, shaping the spiral? Mm -hmm. And why the, the you know clouds, everything, almost the same shape. Why? We don't know why. Yeah, this is the part of one part of child reading. But so uh, we have uh, many many things like uh, that kind of concept. Yeah. I never denied about uh, you know like a first person shooter or war game type. It's like uh, you know to shoot or to kill in the game. Uh, it's fun, but sometimes you know big big you write like a you know, frustration or some negative uh, you know wants. But this is a fun, right? And you can I can feel some. Uh, Oh, I'm really feeling good. Oh, yeah. and that's fun. Like a positive chemical reaction. Mm. You know, so feeling like a little bit happiness or you know hope. We need to, you know, try to make that this kind of game mm. for maybe the future. Yeah. But uh, most of the games, you know, go into the real war field. Yeah. So. That is okay, but uh, we need the other power of the game, right? Like, uh, like a counter. Our goal uh, is if you play the game anyway, feeling good and with maybe sound effects, mm -hmm. maybe visual effects. And uh, the final goal of this game, you know, the big emotional movement, like uh, I want to make a cry. Mm -hmm. it, I don't know if it's possible or impossible yet, mm -hmm. but. Uh, I want to make a, this kind of a chemical reaction, mm -hmm. you know, the emotional reaction goosebumps. by the games. Yeah, goosebumps. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the magic of the interactive experience and uh, some dramatic, you know, something mm -hmm. and the audiovisual everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is really difficult to make this, but um, yeah, we have to try it about that. Mm -hmm. I played child reading on the stage, and uh, I was like a conductor you know, conducting the audio-visual. That was fun. Maybe in the future, in the near future, some DJ, you know, the playing whole audio-visual in the space in the future. The, from the vinyl, CD, 
now like a you know, hard disk, like an iPod. And uh, soon, no controller. You know, the new technology always, you know, give us the new style. Mm -hmm. I have uh, the many, you know, artists I respect. You know, even if, you know, the 100 years ago. So the concept always, you know, many artists had that, that kind of concept. So I'm not so special, I think. But I love to make, a, you know, the new thing. So it's very exciting to create the new thing, new experience. Because I love this field, I mean, you know, this game industry. New technology you know, coming. And uh, no limit of imagination. So we can do anything. We can change anything.